Hey everyone, it's DC here, and today I have a great new video, which is uh, the daily life of a systems administrator. Raise it up! So I just wanted to explain to you uh, sort of what a systems administrator is, what their daily uh, routine looks like, and um, yeah, roughly where you can go with that as your career progresses. So diving straight in, what is a systems administrator? A system administrator administers and manages systems. I know, funny, right? Specifically, the systems of infrastructure and servers that uh, underlie information technology as a whole. Uh, Sysadmin itself is a title that covers a lot of different niches in the IT world, um, which depending on the size of the organization you're working for, a system administrator may also be involved in network administration, database administration, security administration, and pretty much everything below that, including help desk operations. Um, rather than trying to push uh, or put a sysadmin in a pigeonhole, it's more useful to take a look at the typical tasks that a system administrator might do. Um, now, the most important job of a sysadmin is to keep networks and their associated hardware running without a hitch, very similar to a network administrator or a network engineer, but slightly different. Um, this can involve carrying out uh, audits of the hardware and software and analyzing logs and information provided by monitoring, monitoring tools or the network administrator or network uh, engineers, uh, which is where they sort of come in, but I'll explain that in another video. Uh, data centers are pretty complicated places and a lot can go wrong. Um, hardware can fail, software can develop bugs, uh, hackers can hack stuff. They, Basically, system administrators are often tasked with spotting uh, when someone is about to go wrong or has wrong, gone wrong already. Uh, solving the problem, making sure it doesn't happen again. Sysadmins are also responsible for the day-to-day -day running of data centers and servers, which can include tasks like managing backups, keeping server software up to date, managing user data and turning the performance of the system and its component parts. Uh, they're also often called on to accommodate the needs of users, including dealing with the more technical support tasks. So I'll sort of explain a little bit more about that um, last bit, which is uh, as a sysadmin, often you end up getting the escalator tasks from uh, the help desk officers. Um, but let's Let's get into a typical day of a sysadmin. So first up, you get into work and the first thing you're gonna do is check for open tickets in the help desk system. Um, that will probably have been escalated to you. Uh, often infrastructure alerts are sent to the help desk system, then assigned to you. And uh, keeping on top of those operations is one of your main deliverables. Next up is uh, making sure any overnight automations that are running have completed successfully. And if they have not, you will need to create a ticket um, or item in the help desk system so that you can see what your tasks are over the day or week. Um, and also so your bosses know what you're working on. After this, around mid-morning, lunchtime-ish, uh, there's usually another meeting with other sysadmins, um, help desk teams, IT managers, network engineers, SOC teams, you name it. You're gonna to have to talk with a whole bunch of people and this happens throughout the week. Um, and you're gonna be talking about um, what you're working on, uh, what's taking uh, priority for your day and uh, any issues that might occur that anyone might need to be aware of. Finally, your, uh, now that all the administration sort of tasks are out of the way, you can actually get to doing the real work and start working on your open tickets tasks, liaising with multiple different teams throughout the company, uh, solving issues, maintaining servers. Uh, system administrators are often a point between multiple areas of IT. So depending on the company size, they can often be called the jack of all trades, uh, which is 
So completing work from basic help desk all the way up to new infrastructure migration and project works. Uh, sometimes at MSPs they will call a system administrator like a level three support. Um, it's very much the same thing. Uh, a few years back while I was working on a contract position as a sysadmin, I was there to fill a space for a guy who was sick uh, for a three month period. Uh, in that period, I completed a storage migration and a new VoIP setup and assisted with a new SOE rollout. Uh, this is a perfect example of what uh, can sometimes be expected of a sysadmin um, being sort of across multiple technologies. So clearly system administration is a fairly technical job um, and so an education in areas associated with the management uh, of data center infrastructure and server hardware and software is quite important. Um, there are several colleges that run sysadmin degrees, but there are few and far between. Sysadmins often have degrees in related fields like computer science or information systems. Um, that's usually where most people come from, usually computer science, just because it's broad and they didn't know where they wanted to go when they went to uni. So like pretty much everyone else, they chose computer science. Uh, the majority of data centers uh, utilize a Unix-like operating system, so expertise in Linux and BSDs uh, is definitely at a premium. Um, these operating systems, are they're all free, so any sysadmin can go and grab a copy of something like CentOS, um, for example, and explore it for themselves, even like OpenBSD or whatever you want to play with, really. Uh, the typical career path of a system administrator frequently involves moving from a related field in IT and many system administrators are self-taught, uh, picking up experience as they work in technical support or other roles in the data center. Uh, as they gain experience, they will continually improve their education and uh, gain professional qualifications like those offered by Microsoft, Red Hat, Linux Professional Institute, etc. So I hope this information has been helpful to you all. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below or have a chat with me on the Discord channel. There's a, a link in the description below for that if you wanna have a chat. Catch you later guys, bye.